Hello Aquarius, it is me G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I am here today doing your career, life, love, health, overall energy for the month of um, November 2018. Um, thank you for all your beautiful energy. I feel a lot of peace coming your way this season. I sense a lot of peace, a lot of calm energy, a lot of contentment. But this is a a different type of contentment. You understand? But before I get into all of this, I really wanted to um, really talk to you all about something that I thought was really interesting about the different planets this season, okay? So... We are still going to be, in the very beginning of November, we're still going to be dealing with this whole Venus retrograde thing, right? Like, in the month of October, we dealt with a lot of that energy, okay? Venus went retrograde, everybody was in their feelings, I mean, and then we had the Taurus full moon to just top it off to put the cherry on the cake, right? And then, so that whole energy, we're still dealing with some of that energy in the first two weeks of November, okay, to be more precise. So the first week of November, we're definitely going to be still dealing with that uh, full moon energy that we had in Taurus in the month of October. On the 24th of October, we had that full moon in Taurus, and it was very interesting for some of us. It, it, it allowed us, you know, for those of us who were afraid to admit to our emotions, who were um, afraid to be vulnerable, to show how we really felt, um, we got that extra push, <laughs> that extra cosmo push, really, from the universe pushing us to just spill the beans, you know, to speak our mind and to be honest. We got that extra boost this season, right? Now, going into the first week of November, we are still dealing with some of that. The only thing that we actually still have in our favor is that this month, Venus is going direct, okay? However, October 31st, Venus will go into um, Libra. It's home sign, okay? And with that being said, we will be more logical, in our thinking, we won't be so emotional and so sensitive like the Taurus. We will be more logical, more um, sturdy, more, you know, focused more on stability when it comes to our finances or when it comes to our health and when it comes to love. We will be a lot more stable around that first week of November thanks to Venus going to, I mean, going finally into its home sign, Libra. Now, the good thing about Venus leaving us in the month of November is that, again, it's heading home. It's going into Libra. So we will all be feeling a lot better. However, however, okay, that first week of November, we get blessed, okay, with a new moon in Scorpio. The new moon in Scorpio is going to be very intense. So around November 7th, that, give or take a day, that is when you can expect that new moon in Scorpio, okay? Um... It's going to be intense. There's a lot of passion, a lot of mysteries to solve. There's a lot of questions to ask. Um, a lot of us will be very curious to know about something or someone. We will be hopefully um, being curious enough to ask questions that make sense and not really to stir up drama, right? Now, for you, my Scorpios out there, this may be really good for you because, I mean, hello, <laughs> you know, the new moon is in your sign, the sun is in your sign, so this can kind of cause like a a lot of deep, intense emotions with each and every person that may have some type of Scorpio energy in their birth chart. You guys may want to watch out for that, okay? Now, so if you are an Aquarius and you have Scorpio somewhere in your birth chart, then this, yes, it will affect you, Okay. Now, the reason why I'm talking about all of this is because it will affect your overall energy, Aquarius, okay? October, I mean, November 7th, we had that, give or take a day, we had that new moon in Scorpio. And then, and then, okay, we also, going towards the second week of November, we're dealing with Mars going into Pisces. Mars is a very action planet. It's all about taking action. But Pisces is more of a dreamy sign. You know, they, they dream a lot. They daydream a lot. They get depressed a lot, right? Very moody for no reason. Um, and sometimes even very sensitive, overly sensitive, right? However, and no offense if you have Pisces in your birth chart, it is what it is. 
Okay, so <laughs> so Mars will be taking action. Okay, Mars is pushing you, Aquarius, to take action this season when it comes to love, when it comes to health, when it comes to taking care of your ambitions, things that really matter to you. This is you stepping up and taking over, taking your place back in the world, okay? Especially when it comes to your home environment and your health and when it comes to your physical well-being. I do see windfall here. So I wanted to, I was so excited when this came out for you. Windfall is a really good card to get because it just lets me know that off the back, there is going to be greatness coming to you, okay? No matter what is going on with the planets, you win either way, okay? You will win either um, financially. For some of you that have been trying to get yourself together physically, you are winning. For some of you that are trying to get yourself together financially, you are winning. You are literally coming into new ideas, new inspirations, okay? Going out, to meeting new people, networking more. This is a perfect season for you to maybe want to go out and date, but I would definitely wait until Venus goes direct, okay? Which is the next thing that I wanted to discuss. Venus will go direct, uh, give or take a day, November 16th. However, yay, we're so excited Venus is going direct because we don't have to be so emotional. We don't have to worry about delays. We don't have to worry about arguments and conflict. But during Venus retrograde, we don't really have to worry about contracts and those type of things, right? We just have to worry about how we treat people, our social affairs. However, um, I will be careful not to do anything extreme, okay? <laughs> When it comes to your body, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to um, a really drastic situation that is cause, calling your attention, I would not make any type of drastic decision, especially because Venus is going direct the same exact day that Mercury is going retrograde. Mercury is Venus' little brother, right? So, <laughs> so Mercury is going direct. I mean, going retrograde this same exact day Venus is going direct. What the hell does all that mean? I'll tell you in a second. So, Mercury going retrograde, as we all know, it can slow things down, just like Venus retrograde did. However, Mercury is more about communication, how we deliver our messages this season, how we... Um, yeah, I said it right the first time. How we deliver our messages, you know, are we being too impatient? Are we not being patient enough? Um, are we being too patient? Okay. Um, and for each and every one of you, this is going to play out differently. Now, for some of you, Aquarius, I feel like this is not the time to really procrastinate. I feel like a lot of you air signs has been having like a really challenging season Overall, like for the past six months, it has been like, ugh, you know, and I feel like the next three months is definitely going to be winning season, okay? It's going to be, sorry guys, I just felt like doing that, I don't know why. I just see you guys winning, okay? So, the next three months for you is really going to be all about winning, okay? And I keep saying that to you for some, I don't know, this windfall just really got me. I just feel like it's some type of unexpected news that will be coming to you. So the reason why this is important, Aquarius, is because with all this different energy, with Mars going into Pisces, being all dreamy, we may we may be daydreaming, having big visions and thoughts about things happening, and Jupiter is also going to be going into Sagittarius around the 8th. So this is really going to be quite interesting, okay? A lot of us are going to be feeling really impulsive. For some of you, you may feel extra um, spiritual. For some of you, you may want to shop till you drop, you know? However, that's fine, but just be smart about your choices, okay? I have been trying my best to press this issue to all 12 signs because it is extremely important that we make the best choice this season, okay? As Venus goes direct, we're dealing with Mercury retrograde the same exact day, literally like four hours apart, okay? As we all know, Mercury can slow down communication. Verify that someone received your email. You want to verify... Let me turn this down. So you want to verify that someone has received your email. Um, you want to make sure that someone has... Um, you want to make sure that someone has maybe got your message 
if you were trying to send out any type of letters. You want to just double check everything. If you are planning a trip, make sure that you double check the prices. Double check the fine print. Make sure that there are no hidden fees. Mercury retrograde can, you know, it's, it's good in that way. It can trick us up, okay? So be very, very cautious when it comes to fine print and signing documents or contracts. I don't care what it is, whether it's for a home, a new job, a new career, a new business, um, a new car, whatever it is, okay? This can be something simple as, um, you know, child care, you know, or child support, anything, whatever type of documents it is, Guys, you know, I will be the first to tell you Mercury Retrograde is not really the best time to sign contracts. Anything that is going to put you in a bind, do not do it. Like, do not agree to say, oh, yeah, you can take out $500 every two weeks. Like, do not agree to something like that because you will end up regretting it, okay? So, moving along... I don't want to get too stuck on Mercury Retrograde, okay? The good thing is about Mercury Retrograde is that some things can return. I'm talking about people, lost items, lost money, things that you have been waiting for. Yes, and for you Aquarius, I feel like for some of you, well, for a great deal of you, it's going to be something you've been waiting for for a really long time, okay? Um, so yes, that windfall is really, really speaking to me. Now, Aquarius, when it comes to your overall well-being, the universe wants you to enjoy nature, to get out. You are way much better when you are grounded in, in nature. Yes, you are an air sign, which is deeply connected and rooted to the earth, which is so deeply rooted to nature. So please get out. Enjoy the weather. I know in some parts of the world it's cold and some parts it's kind of rainy or nasty looking. But try to get out and really enjoy the weather. You know, if you want to travel to the warmer part of the world and, you know, maybe go swimming, whatever. Just enjoy nature, honey. Okay, that is what the universe wants for you. The universe also want you to practice taking care better um, taking better care of your body okay but however keep in mind that if you're thinking about surgery if you're thinking about um if you're thinking about surgery for whatever reason if you're thinking about removing something or adding something like some of you may feel like you want a bigger booty right or you may feel like you want bigger boobs <laughs> so try not to get into all of that right now okay this is not the best time for that my best, my guess is that you should definitely want, you may want to wait until at least the second week of December, okay? By then, we don't have to worry about Venus or Mercury retrograde. We'll be a lot happier by then, okay? So, please wait. If you're thinking about doing something strange to your body, um, shifting things around, maybe bleaching your hair, bleaching your teeth, whatever craziness or crazy ideas that you have going on, please wait. Do not jump into this just yet, okay? The universe is saying, try things more natural first, okay? Because I see outdoors here first, and I also see body changes. Try something more natural first, and then if it doesn't work, then you can use surgery and other things as an alternative. But as of right now, the universe wants you to just be you. Be that air sign. Be natural. Be wonderful. You know, in hell exhale. Take it all in, you know? That is what the universe wants for you, dear love. So really, really practice that self-love. When you go into the universe, just begin to just take it all in, okay? Um, now, when it comes to love, when it comes to love, you know, the universe is saying, listen, divine timing is that work in your love life. For some of you, if you are already coupled up and you've been having some difficulties or you've been having some mild issues, you know, uh, mild difficulties in love lately, um, the universe is just saying to just be hopeful, you know, because apparently the more you take better care of yourself, the more you will be able to love. And I feel like this message was very the so much the same um, last month in the month of October. So please review your month of October read, love reading as well if you have not already done so, okay? Now, also, the universe is saying to free yourself, my love. It is definitely time to take your life back, okay? It's time to take back control of your life, of your love life, okay? Get back out there and date. Look at this. Outdoors, honey. Get out there. Go mingle. Go get to know someone. Go dancing. You know, go, if you like um, jogging, go, you know, try to 
jog maybe like in the early mornings you know good good guys or good women that has you know really good they take good care of their physicality that work hard that has good credit they really take good care of themselves they they have no time to waste like they're up early they're they're working out they're jogging they're going to the gym you know um you may actually run into someone that you're really really attracted to okay or, um, I also feel like for some of you, this could even be at a museum. This can be at a zoo. For those of you that love animals, this can even be at a zoo. Um, this could even be, um, because you guys are humanitarians by nature. Like, you guys love, love, love nature. You love, uh, animals. You love those type of things. So, for those of you that really do have, like, a theme for, like, kids or children, you know, animals, those type of things. That is why I feel like you would meet that person, okay? Um, and this could just somewhere out in nature. It doesn't necessarily have to be like at a park or jogging. It can be um, literally like somewhere like at a, a market, at the mall. It could be um, at the museum. It can be at the zoo. Just get out and try to mingle. Have fun, okay? Go to the bar. You know, I really don't recommend that you pick someone up at the bar, but go to the bar. Have fun. Nobody said get married. I'm just saying to have fun. That's all I'm saying. Okay? So, what else we got here? This could be the one. So, for those of you that are feeling like, oh, my God, this person is wonderful. They're amazing. I can't stop thinking of them. They always make me happy. You know, and you're just maybe a bit curious to know if it can actually work or if this person can even be a possible soulmate, right? Or even for some of you, maybe a twin flame, it says that this could be the one. See, so for some of you, it's like you already met the romantic partner that you are seeking. And for those of you that are already coupled up, this is basically saying there's no need for you to look nowhere else, honey. The person that you need and that you want is right there in front of you. Okay, so just take a step back. Sometimes when we just take a step back and let go of control, the most amazing things happen for us, okay? So like I said, it's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself from self-sabotage. Free yourself from bondage. You don't need to go through the things that you have been going through. Sometimes it just takes a second to just relax, breathe, and just take a second to just begin to manifest what you really want, okay? Okay? Now, when it comes to, you know, I wanted to get back into this whole planet thing, okay, because what day is this? This is going to be interesting also because around, I think towards the end of November, okay, we are going to be having a full moon in Gemini, okay? The full moon in Gemini is also going to be very interesting, so, the November 22nd, the sun will enter Sagittarius. That's going to also be a day where it's going to be intense, very impulsive, very sexy. If you have Sagittarius in your birth chart, you will most likely feel ready to run the world. You will be feeling on top, ready to take over. If you don't care, move over, get out of my way. I got things to do. Don't stop me. You think that Aquarius, your energy is over, like overwhelming and very impulsive. If you have Sagittarius in your birth chart as a moon or rising sign, uh, get ready, okay? It's going to be one hell of a season, okay? Now, the next day, like literally, the full moon will go into Gemini. The full moon in Gemini is very talkative, very social, one tend to get out more. So teamed up with the sun and Sagittarius, this is going to be a lot of energy where you may feel like you want to party, you want to go out. The good thing is it is Thanksgiving here in the States. It is Thanksgiving. We all love food. We love to eat. Oh, my God. We love food so much. I just want some good collard greens. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's it. So <laughs> Thanksgiving. Same day, sun, the sun will enter Sagittarius, okay? However, like I said, that's going to be one week where you're going to be up. I got my flight booked. I don't care. I'm out of here, suckers. Don't try to stop me. I'm going to party. I'm going to live my life. Everybody's going to be really excited, wanting to have a good time, ready to get drunk or high, whatever it is that floats your boat, right? A lot of us are going to be just excited. I mean, think about that Sagittarius energy. They're always on the go. Looking for something new to do, something adventurous, something exciting, right? And so you, Aquarius, you're very much the same way. You hate to be bored. So I think teamed up with that sun and Sagittarius energy, oh, my God. I'm talking about mind-blowing 
energy, okay? Now, November 23rd, like I said, that full moon in Gemini, get ready to have a lot of social gatherings, okay? A lot of conversations about, you know, business-related issues, health issues, anything dealing with your finances. Be careful not to gossip too much, okay? I've been telling all of my air signs this. Be careful not to gossip or indulge in gossip that involves someone that you love or that you deeply care for. Be careful not to gossip, okay? Be very, very careful of that because that full moon in Gemini is very talkative. And even though it can be very stimulating, we may be seeking that stimulation, but then it can come back and bite us in the ass. So please be careful not to gossip too much, okay, be very, very careful about that, November 24th, Neptune would also go direct, and that's going to be also very interesting, because it's going direct in his home sign, Pisces, I believe, yep, it's going direct in his home sign, Pisces, so that's also going to be very good for us, because we're not daydreaming anymore, we're like, yes, we got to get back focus, 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 speaking of being focused, okay, <laughs> oh, I started choking, Goddess Diana is here to remind you, baby, to get back, get that focused intention back, okay? It's time for you to wheel it in, all right? Keep your unwavering thoughts and feelings and actions focused on your targets, and you will make your mark, dear love, okay? I'm talking about an unexpected windfall, unexpected news, something that is going to be exciting. For some of you, you know, it may not be a windfall. You know, I'm just speaking the truth. For some of you, this might be like, oh, shit, what the hell just happened? Okay? I'm talking about unexpected news. And like I said, with Mercury going retrograde and Venus going direct, you can expect all kind of different news. Okay? It's all about how you deal with it. Like I said, we have to be very careful how we are verbalizing or passing or delivering our messages this season. Okay? So try to listen more and not talk so much. Okay? Because with that full moon in Gemini, I feel like we're going to be very, very talkative. But just some things just better left unsaid, okay? So, there's no need to hurry or to try to force things to happen. So, if you are feeling impulsive and you are feeling like, you know what, I'm going to put a down payment right now, nah. Like, right now is not the time to do that, okay? You want to wait until that second week of December. Trust me. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. You do not have to feel like, if I don't do this today, it's not going to happen. It is going to happen because the universe is already saying, look, I got you. I'm working everything out in your favor. You don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. You don't have to drive yourself crazy. You don't have to do any of that. Like I said, going towards the end of November, trust me, we're going to all be feeling so much better, okay? Especially going into that first week of December. But I can't talk too much about that. Uh, I cannot talk too much about that. But I will as we get closer, okay? But that might be retrograde. I'm just, I cannot wait because I think this is going to be one of the most, um, this Mer Mercury retrograde, I think, is going to be really like a powerful lesson for us, you know, us learning something. So, again, things are going to be coming back from the past. It may be an ex trying to come back into our life. It may be um, something that happened in the past and maybe is just bothering us again. We may have heartfelt, deep feelings for an individual that's, that we used to deal with. Um, this could even be maybe you were looking for a check that you couldn't find and maybe you finally got the phone call. I mean, I'm talking about just unexpected, okay? So expect the unexpected this season, okay? Dear love, you are strong, okay? Please don't doubt yourself. You are strong. You are very much stronger than you think you are. You have to have faith, my love, okay? You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. I cannot wait to share that with you because it just made so much sense when I was looking at windfall, looking at worth waiting for. You have a lot of cards here talking about, you know, taking action, being patient with yourself in the process, but take action, my love, okay? Okay. Never mind the people that want to gossip and argue. You don't have time for that. Let's get focused, okay? So, Aquarius, I love you, and I thank you so much for watching. I think that you guys are going to really, really be having, like, a fantastic season overall. Um, if you guys need me, of course, you know that I'm here. So, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please like and share this video around the world, 
okay? Because this is different. Aquarius been having some things going on lately. All of you air signs have. And this is going to be one season where you can literally expect a shift, okay? So I love you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.